You too. <coughs> Kick. One thing I want to address. So you guys have not been able to hear this right here. So I've been doing this in every video. Where I do this. Where I was always going. Yeah. Y'all weren't hearing that echo. Y'all weren't hearing that reverb. So I thought y'all could hear that. So every time I was freestyling, I would go, yeah. Yeah. So we have that fixed now. So now that bit will make way more sense. Okay. Okay. So super Caitlin, okay? Or a uh, sup Caitlin. I don't know her really. But there's something I wanted to acknowledge about this girl. Um, and something that caught my eye. So, we're just going to start the video. Hold on. Oh, 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 no free oh. ads. Then you're shy? <clears throat> I mean, like, it depends, it depends. Sometimes she I'm said shy, you? It depends on the day. I guess it's you to Edward. I hate, that I, have to, I hate that I have to react to a person reacting, but he's the only person who has this clip, so. It, it, it comes and goes. All right. Well, anyways, what is your name? My name is Edward. Um, mm -hmm. My friends call me Eddie, but, you know, you can call me whichever one you prefer. It doesn't matter. All right, Eddie, how old are you? She seems annoyed. 22. Okay. And why do you want to date me, Eddie? Uh, um, well, you know, I feel like I feel like you very um like wifey material. You think I'm wifey? <laughs> oh, oh, I think you watch my streams on mute. What makes you wifey, uh, Eddie? Uh, Good script, bro. You know like how caring you are. Great cap. And how mm -hmm. I'm so you are. I'm so Hold on, uh, let's, let's, <laughs> we're going to get into the wild stuff, but I don't want to do too much of this. That's I'm saying so many words, but they're not making any sense. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Okay, what my fault, my fault. Yeah. Like, you, you misunderstanding me or like. I feel like I everything like, on the right side of my body is bigger. Like I got to do a better job of explaining that really. Um, I feel like you're then, saying a... so many words, but they're not making Okay, so let's start right here. Making any sense. <laughs> but yeah, you... So first of all, she's clowning him. <clears throat> Look, I know this is a joke. I know these are streamers. I just want to start with that. I know these are streamers, okay? Well, Edward, I don't know so much about. Or, uh, obviously, she is a streamer, and so is Jason. Um, But I want to say this, man. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm going to be honest. In, we're going we're gonna to take this... I want to take this past this video. I want to take it past this video. I just want to give y'all an example of this is the kind of stuff we see, and this is the stuff I talk about in my videos. Number one, she's about to clown him. Maybe she's clowning him for real. Maybe she's not clowning him for real. But this is something that happens to men a lot, and they simp and all this blah, 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 blah. Listen, guys, I, I've been around plenty of attractive women, okay? Really attractive women. I'm ugly. I'm fat. I'm short, okay? That doesn't mean I've been around attractive women. I want to say this, man. These really, really attractive women are a joke sometimes. A absolute joke. You know how <clears throat> the one way... <clears throat> I admit that maybe in high school I was a nerd, but once I got out of high school, man, I think after like my second year in college, I think after, and I went to a college with a bunch of attractive girls. It was main, well, no, no, it was not mainly. There was a lot of guys, a lot of girls, but I worked at all these jobs that mainly had women. I want to say this to begin with. Any woman who talks to you like that, do not let them clown you. I don't care if it was on a dating show, if we were just, and I came on here and this girl happened to be super attractive and she said, you're saying a lot of words, but you're not making any sense. That, that's, <laughs> guys, you got to stand up for yourself immediately right there. Okay? But that's not really the point of this video. You know what? Okay, what's my fault, my fault. Yeah, tell me about yourself, Eddie. Oh, Kayla. Uh, yeah, I know Edward's a YouTuber, but I don't think he streams. I'm a gentleman. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, for sure. So you Even your tip. Like, you might think like, oh, nah, my right nut, whatever, my right like, nut sack hangs lower than my tit, left right one. Tit, both tits, like, that's not my concern. My concern is, you know, the heart, the mind, your thoughtfulness. I'm talking about the other shit. Yo, Kosar with the four months, my boy. 
Jason. Yo. What do you do about that, Edward? Ah. Uh, okay, so she already made this one joke. Let me go back. I want to talk about this. What makes you wifey, oh. Eddie? Good script, bro. You know, like how caring you are. Great cap. And how mm, thoughtful so you are. I'm so caring. I'm so thoughtful. Yeah. Like all those little characteristics, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so true. I think you actually do know me so well. Okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. Like, she rocking Dior. I noticed that. Everybody does. I pick those things up. Other people, they this is worse than your Asian things, bras performance. But I the little things this is just that weird. <laughs> so I appreciate you for that. Did you notice which one of my tits is larger? What? I want to start with that. <clears throat> Guys, I would. I, I talked about this in another video when I talked about being a sexual deviant, right? And even though a person is joking like this, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, people feel so free to be so sexual. Oh, one of my tits is bigger than my others. And you're going to see her say later that she's super horny. It's this goofy kind of stuff that I be talking about. Um, people think that being sexually deviant is like a, uh, makes you more, um, honestly, it makes you a little bit higher above the people who, who don't talk like that, even in a joking way. You know, even this guy, Jason, talking about his ball sack and all this. It's just it's just wild to me. It's like listening to a bunch of kids talk, right? Just like, oh, this is my first time ever hearing about t titties. And it's my first time ever hearing about balls. So let me make a joke. I'm so horny. It's like, it's like, can't even talk like an actual adult. And then you wonder why, <laughs> and you wonder why it's so hard to even distinguish children from adults now. And that's what I was telling y'all. People in my generation, especially millennials, I can't talk for Gen Z. I'm not part of them. But for millennials, it, you see that us millennials have gotten older and older later and later in life, right? <clears throat> we end up being 35, 36 years old, still getting drunk, getting high, and can't even do anything productive in uh, society. We're still making pause. Oh, man, that test was hard. Pause. Oh, I got to say pause. I can't even look at an anime character on a video game without talking about her booty, even though most of the time when you're watching an anime, especially in the video game world, they're normally high schoolers. But these men out here can't even separate themselves for one dang second. And this is what I'm talking about. This goofy stuff like Soap Sup Caitlin is doing. And Edward, he's young. He's young. He's young. But, you know, it's just he could I think he could have took this opportunity to be like, look, man, look, look, look. He could have said, look, Caitlin, look, look chill, hold on. For one thing, you're not going to do is clown me. Number two, I would have been, I, I, I would dig in. I'd be like, hey, look, well, why do you feel like you got to talk like that? You know what I mean? Maybe she clowns me. I'm sure. I've talked to hot tub streamers before, and maybe they clown me. I've talked to strippers before. Maybe they clown me. I don't care. If I have the platform, I'm going to talk. <laughs> one of them is way bigger than the other one. Can you tell? Um, The right one. Oh. See clowns. Uh, the, the, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> and not, I don't mean them. That's not the type of I just guy. mean that. Okay, hey, good save. Like, it's, it's clownish talk to me. I feel like you you misunderstanding me or like. I feel like everything like on the right side of my body is I bigger. Feel like I gotta do a better job of explaining that really. Um, I feel like you're then, saying a... so many words but they're not making any sense. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Okay, tell my fault, yourself. My fault. Yeah, tell me about yourself, Eddie. Oh, um, Kayla, I'm a. First, mm -hmm. first of all, <laughs> never mind. I'm a gentleman. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, for sure. So you Even your tip. Like, you might think like, oh, nah, my right nut, whatever, my like, right nut sack hangs lower than my tip, left right one. Tip, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking tips, about. Like, that's not my concern. My concern I've never is, talked like this, you know, by the way, growing up. I was never heart, a girl like mind, that. Your thoughtfulness. I'm, I'm not saying I was perfect. I was Yo, co-star with the four months, my boy. Oh, my God. I'm talking. They're talking, and he's talking. Jason. Yo. What do you do about that, Edward? So right there, she said, I'm so horny if y'all didn't hear because I was talking and they were talking and then Jason was talking. Uh, she said, I'm so horny. What are you going to do about that, Eddie? Like, she's she's streaming this to young women and to young men. It's just like so corny. It's so corny to talk. Like, grow up. Man, it's just like, and this is what we see more and more. Even in just chatting streamers. I see this all the time. Women with their breasts out. There's a YouTube stream, a YouTuber that I used to watch. But every time I watch her video, she feels like she has to put her breasts out and then talk about them. I get that you want to be sexual, but it's just like, man, it's like, and then you want people to take you seriously. And I don't know about Sub Caitlin. I don't know. I, I don't even know if that's her name. I don't know. She wants people to take her seriously, but it's just like, this is, this is. <sighs> uh, I mean, well, damn, I mean. What does he say? The gentleman? You okay? Have you never yeah, seen vagina yeah, before? No. I don't think he's ever seen vagina before. <laughs> Who cares about that?
you know. Let me let him talk. Hey, no. We're gonna come back to that. What? Time. Have you ever had like, sex? See, ever... see, this is the stupid clownish stuff I was talking about. Not calling them stupid. That's the last time I'm gonna reiterate that. But what they're saying, it's just like. Have you ever seen a vagina before? And if he has, like, where's he gonna see it? In pornography? The one the what the most evilest criminal organization ever, the porn industry? You want him to see it there? And you're supposed to what are you I'm guessing you're one of these women who say this is empowerment? So where's he gonna see vagina? The one place where women get more abused and manipulated than anything? Or what what what's the other option? Is he gonna go get a girl with the sole purpose of seeing her vagina? Like, what route could he have seen a Being a virgin is not bad, guys. Being a clown like this is what's crazy. Virgin, it's okay if you are. I can help you with that. Wait, she low key pressing him. Condescending. Nah, like, what? Clown. I'm talking about. First she off, low key pressing his ass. ass. I got a couple Muslim, you know, viewers and friends. Like, um. <laughs> She's gonna say something blasphemous. You can still view hoarding during Ramadan. No respect. You see what I'm saying? They want us to respect them. And then they talk like that. I'm obviously not Muslim. But he's sitting here saying, this is about Ramadan. I don't know Edward. Edward could be joking around. I know I don't know. I've seen, as far as I've seen him as a YouTuber, he's goofy anyway. So I'm not even talking about him. But the whole point is, even in this moment, she couldn't help herself saying, even people are horny Ramadan clown. Right or no? True. That's Jason too. Allah. Oh, I don't think it's allowed technically, but like it's. <laughs> what, if you can't help us, what if you can't help? What if you got a boner on accident? Shit! <laughs> what a child! Just don't touch your meat, right? See, once again, like. Astaghfirullah. Gentlemen, so that type of stuff doesn't really happen to me. I don't know what I don't know what other dudes really? you've been talking to. All right, so with, we're in the yeah, same now. room together. You wouldn't get a boner just by being next to me. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. With, guys, I'm telling you right now, listen, and I am not trying to be that dude. I have been around plenty, plenty of, I mean, out of this world, attractive women. One, I talked to them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did talk to them because I've never seen any woman like out of my league. Even, but at the same time, I never thought I could get any woman. I'm not stupid. Fat, short, ugly. I got that, okay? Nonetheless, I never let women, and this is something my mother, my mother didn't teach me this, but the way my mom and my father carried themselves, I never thought a woman was so attractive that I couldn't control myself around them. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no girl I ever met that I got a erection for because – I'm a grown man and even as even after I turned eight, I don't want to talk about being a child because that's kind of gross but when I was older past 18 I didn't get no burn around attractive girls I grew up in an attractive city a lot of people had money where I grew up so some of us were poor I wasn't poor we were middle class but some people were super poor but we had some super super rich kids so I saw some super super attractive girls that I'm telling you just being around them was not enough to get horny. When I was in college, I went to a college that was super expensive. So who did you get at a super expensive school? Super attractive girls. I'm telling you, all these attractive women that I was going to college with, none of them would you get a boner around. It's like, what do you think men are? Like, you think a man can't sit next to an attractive woman and not get a boner? He's not 12. Okay? And that's what I think these women who have this pretty privilege, and I'm not knocking her. She can't help that she's pretty. But I do think some of these women truly think that because they're super attractive that guys cannot control themselves around them. I, a man who cannot discipline himself in that way is a fool. You have to learn to discipline. I'm not saying you don't fall into some temptations. You don't fall into that because young men get exposed to porn where they're young. But at the same time, like, she really thinks men... And if that's you, dog, I want to say that right now. If that's you, you can't get around a woman without having a boner just because she has her breast out like a, like a, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be real with y'all. A girl who puts her breast out like this and think it's flattering or something like that. I get sometimes women get hot, but this in this case, she's talking about her breast and talking about being horny. So we're going to go through that route. Women who put their breasts out that, like that, to me, is like a, I'm, I'm going to have to say it. 
it's, it's like a pig with the pearls, man. They're trying to cover up that disgusting attitude they got. That disgusting, uh, that disgusting, um, what I want to say, that disgusting feeling they're giving off, right? Just a spirit of ugh, sexuality trying to get this grown man to fall by having a breast out. It's like a pig with the pearls. I'm sorry to tell you, not calling her a pig. I'm just saying it's just, it's just a mask. Putting your breast out don't make you know the difference. It's still the same old disgusting thing. Whether it's an ugly girl, unattractive woman, or a really hot girl doing it, it's still creepy to me. It's still creepy. The girl's like, hey, <laughs> let me put my breast in your face. It's just creep. Probably not. Cause like, I That's why like I said like, she's uh, weird. Bro. I feel like you would get a boner, but it's so small I couldn't even see it. Yo! <laughs> what do they do? Anytime a woman gets on stream, she goes to a man having a small penis. It's like a child. It's like talking to a little kid. That's what's so crazy. It's like talking to a little kid. She's going to go to your penis is small. Wow. And this is what I'm trying to say, guys. Y'all going to be like, oh, she's just kidding. You're grown. You can't. Why do you joke like that as a grown individual? I mean, God, they, and they want the same respect. <laughs> um, Bro, Edward, yo, you got to. Yeah, you probably have a boner right now, but it's so tiny, you can just get away with it. Yo, okay. Edward, do oh, something, bro. Are you? <clears throat> oh. Well, damn. I mean, respectfully, like... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story, man. <laughs> I remember a girl telling me I had a small penis, right? And I pressed her. And I pressed her. I, I was serious about this, too, because I was like, okay, let me let me just see what would happen if I push this, push this. So a girl said I had a small penis, and I said, okay, so if I have a small penis, what does that mean? Well, it means you can't have sex with me, okay? So is there something wrong with having a small penis? What if there's nothing I can do about having a small penis? What if I have a micro penis? What if that's just a lot I was given in life? Does that make me less of a man, more of a man? And then she was kind of like, you know, oh, no, it's not a bad thing to have a small penis. That's why I said, why do you use it as an insult? Like, like, what does it matter what size my penis is at the end of the day? Like, my, you know, if a girl says that, like, or what, I mean, what is the insult? Like, is she, is she saying, is she saying we wouldn't have sex with you because you have a small penis? Or are you saying like, oh, um, because I have a small penis, it makes me less of a man. Like, what is the goal to say that? I think women just literally just say that to get a reaction. But I pressed the girl about it and there was no smoke. Because it's, it's silly. I just went to her as an adult, like how adults think. When somebody insults somebody, just like, okay, and, like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, is it having a small penis something like you can't overcome or you mean I can't have sex? I mean, what does it matter to you what I have? Press them. I I'd feel press like them. you underestimating it respectfully, but, um. Jizzly Bear donated $1. Oh, Can I get proof of your nuts, Jason? <clears throat> no. Uh, uh, I feel like, you know, that's not very good or, like, very gentleman-like of me to do. So out of respect, you know, to you and the viewers out there, I don't think I could do that on the month of Ramadan. I don't think I could do well, that. Well, good really. thing Ramadan wow. is in two days, yeah? In April? I think there's like a couple more weeks left. <laughs> really? Like, I thought you said it was yeah, just hey, one. Yeah, hey, 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 I feel viewers, like you're on the whole demon time. When is Ramadan over? Huh? Set, when is Ramadan tell him, over? Tell him, Edward. She's on demon time. Three weeks. Like, if you're horny, you're just gonna have to keep your horny levels up because, like, it got like it, that shit just started. It just started. Shit, There's three weeks. This shit, oh shit. This shit is like this shit is like Ooh. first quarter. This shit uh -oh. is first quarter. Oh we're shit. On, like, she quarter, fucking up. So it's about to be over. Oh. This shit just started. Like, I'll see the things that beat. Really? What was that about? Oh. Also, someone told me that you're a TikToker with a million followers. Is that true? Ah <laughs> uh, shit. Nah, 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 so hey. Million followers. I thought you'd have way more riz. <laughs> I feel like you're nervous. What's wrong, Eddie? He's not nervous. This is how he is. I'm chilling, but I feel like clout you know, demon. That's just me trying to be a gentleman out of respect, really. No, no, you can't. Um, Riz, this stupid thing. This thing about Riz is clownish. A horse. They can say whatever you want to me. I won't be offended. Okay, so whatever you want. You take that step back. I feel like clout you know, demon. That's just me trying to be a gentleman out of respect, really. No, no, you um, can't. I'm a horse. They can say whatever you want to me. I won't be offended. You can say whatever you want. Yo! Hey, that's the green light. Hey, we're... <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, that's coming from my computer over here. Hold on a second.
<sighs> so women who say that kind of stuff, oh, I'm a whore. So you can say whatever to me. Just keep, just uh, treat me like a, just treat me like a dumpster. Just do whatever you want to me. Tell me how bad I am. What you would do to me. Clowns. <laughs> like, I don't understand the concept of, once I talked about this again, once again in my sexual de deviant video. Like, women who just come out and say, I'm a whore, doesn't make you, it doesn't make you more appealing. It doesn't make you more sexy, more attractive. The only person that makes you more attractive to are sex addicts. People who are addicted to that kind of stuff. But any m normal, individual human being would find that disgusting. And that's the kind of stuff that people who are sexually deviant, they feel like they're going against. Man, well, I don't, I don't care about being disgusting. I'm going to let it all out. Let me just put my breast out and just let them do whatever to me. Just let them treat me. That sounds like a person with terrible insecurities. It sounds like a person who's really down on themselves. I'm being serious. Because people who say they're super confident about showing their naked body and feel like they have to push with that agenda at first, even in a joking way, because everybody knows there's truth in a joke. The fact that she's pushing it so hard is sad. Like, I've met um, uh, enough women. I remember meeting this stripper one time, and I was talking to her, and I was like, you know, she was doing all her sexual stuff. And I was talking to her, like, like, do you really, like, like this? You know, these girls, they will come out and tell you stuff like, I don't really find myself that attractive. I don't really find myself this. I just do what I got to do. I got to get drunk to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. Even when y'all watch these hot tub streamers, tell me how many of them take shots or get high. It's it's not it's not confidence. It's not confidence when women talk like this, calling themselves whores. It's sad, not confidence. <laughs> How you really want to talk to me? Don't hold back. You see but that fake smile? That's not my thing. Kevin, that's not my thing. Like you expecting me to be some like ferocious dude talking about Here we picking go, you up, choke slamming you. Yes. Oh my god. Shit. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> what the yeah, Kayla is funny. <laughs> and you talking about like, do this to me, get the chains out, blindfold oh this, my God. get the yes. feather out. Yes. Continue. And you talking Hello. about yeah. nervous. And you oh. talking about moving her hair. She not liking what she's talking about. She already knows she's like, I'm wilding right now. I'm going way too far with this, but I gotta make that bread. On the Spencer's oh my, I'm in the so back close. I'm of the so store. close. You see, you see how every time she talks like that, she starts grabbing her hair. She starts messing with her hair. But that's not my thing, Kayla. That's not, not my thing. Say, like dude. you expecting me to be some like this dude talking about picking you up, choke slamming you. Yes. And doing oh all my this god. Shit. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Kayla is funny. <laughs> and you talking watch. about like do this to me, get the chains out, blindfold oh this, my god. get the yes. feather out. Yes. <laughs> Continue. And you talking Hello. about. And you're talking about going to Spencer's I'm, I'm in the so back close. I'm so store. close. Look at her hair. Look at the hair. Yo! <laughs> Yo! And you talking about like going to the oh, back yes. of the store. Just... This must be a young kid thing that they think this is like, oh, I can't believe she's... I guess I guess you have to be around more people in this world, but that's not even that wild anymore. People who do this kind of stuff, I just... Okay. It's like... It's really like listening to a kid talk. It's like, we, it's like when you're around... It's like I've worked with children for so long, guys, and that's that's the reason I, I work with so many women because I work with so many children in certain settings that women always tend to be a part of that as well because they tend to go for those jobs. But I want to say this: um, when I talk to young teenage boys and they talk like this kind of stuff, because if you work with teenagers or if you've ever worked around teenagers, you know that they do this kind of stuff to trip you up all the time, and they'll say stupid stuff like this. And so when I hear it, when I hear it coming from a grown person, it's, it really like clicks in my head like a teenager saying it. It's just like, okay, like I don't even laugh, giggle. I'm not even like shocked. It's just more disgusting to hear it coming from you when you have an audience. I, I know of young women and especially young men in there, but y'all don't care. Man, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. She's saying that he's nervous, but look at her like, demeanor. You never explored that shit as like a little kid and just got like stunned by that shit? You never no? seen it? It's like this, like, it's like this store, you know, you feel me? Like, where it seems like it's like a, like a clothing store, this, that, like edgy store in the, in the front. And then you go and go to this the back Spencer's. and you see more than you really should at that age. Like, they got all types of like shit, contraptions, all that for, you know. Y'all ever been to Spencer's? 
I remember the first time I went to Spencer's and went to the back. Oh, no, anything yep. at that store Clearly. we have in my closet. And extra. So we don't need to go to that store. Yo, she freaky. Well, what type of like... I bought like, like three are you, like, dildos. From stores like that, like, uh, I bought some I handcuffs. Dildos of all sizes and colors. I have nipple clamps. I have ropes. I have chains. I have. What's a clamps. nipple clamp? It's a nipple clamp. I was gonna. You see, um, it's just a. See, I want to talk about this for real. Like, it's just so crazy how this kind of stuff can get a hold on people. To where they talk about it so openly, like. And people really think it's okay. And that's what they want y'all to do, man. And the more sexually, I'm telling you, the more sexual people get, the worse it goes downhill. People don't think, you, I want y'all to really look around. Like, for real, like, look around and take a look at what's going on in society. Where do you think that started? It started with people becoming more sexual. Not maybe more sexual, but us giving people the platform to be more open about it. And people think open sexuality, like when you see, see people talk about being a swinger and you see these grown adults putting these porn books in uh, high schools and you see people on here on chat getting sexual and you see people like Aiden Ross always talking about being a homosexual and talk about being gay and doing all these things to men. It, and Kai Sin Sinat doing the same thing, bringing on porn stars. It's just like the more you see this, the more sex they're trying to throw in your face. What's really sad is they they have to know, and they don't, and they know that kids follow them, because if kids if they didn't know that kids follow them, they wouldn't make the kind of content that we make. Because most of their stuff, people who make this kind of content, it doesn't really appeal to people who are older. I don't see people who are like twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. They don't really go for this kind of stuff. Even people I talk to who I know who are really out there, who are really giving in to the world and giving into sexual all this kind of stuff. Even them I've talked to. I know plenty. Uh, I know plenty of men who were in the sex, but you gotta understand the average man doesn't have sex like that. But the girls who get sex like that, the women I've talked to who have sex like that, they're not like this. They're not like this woman like this, right? And they're they're not watching this kind of content. They may be freaky, but they're not they're not watching this kind of content because it's kind of goofy. It is goofy. So the only people who are going like, oh my gosh, she's so. It's children. It's really teenagers and maybe people in their early twenties. In college, but I mean, for the majority of the people who are much older than that, it's just like, it wouldn't be appealing. It's just like, this is kind of dumb. You know, this is not going to appeal to married couples and stuff like that. It's not going to appeal to uh, people who are pursuing real relationships. This is for children. And that's what I don't think these people really get. I don't, uh, listen, I'm not saying Aiden and Caitlin. I don't know these people. I don't know anything about them, obviously. But the way they talk about sex so openly like this, or they do sexual content, where they make fun of being a homosexual and all this kind of goofy stuff, you know, even uh, <laughs> even how Andrew Tate talks about, you know, having sex and all this kind of goofy stuff as well, it's kind of like, man, I mean, you know that these young men that are following you, right? Young teenage boys, more than likely. Can't y'all just grow up and talk about real stuff? Now, Andrew Tate, I'll admit, isn't like this. He ain't like goofy, goofy. He's talking about stuff he truly believes in. Obviously, I disagree with some of it, okay? I'm sure he, uh, we all disagree on something, a lot of us, you know, except for, you know, some people, you know, by faith, we'd be able to maybe be a little bit closer and kind of stuff. But this, this is for children. This is for entertaining children. And y'all wonder why they keep going after our kids. I'm not saying these people are going after kids. What I am saying, though, is people who do go after children, they use this kind of stuff. They do the same kind of joking, clownish stuff, and they draw little... Y'all don't even know, bro. Google it, but then I was like, that's there. not a good idea. Flavored lubes. You know, we can try anything you want. Flavored lubes? Why are you loading? <laughs> like you're loading. Uh, like, 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 oh. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I had to process that shit because, Is it because like... your mom's outside the door? She might hear us or what? Nah, she nah, definitely nah, cutting nah, the bullshit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Some of the stuff that you said, like, just, hey, hey, we just. <sighs> His dad comes in or something. I don't no, know if that's do a not. bit. They do not. They do not look alike. Well, he's saying crazy stuff, so I'm assuming his dad knows. Uh, yeah, they don't. Like psychology, you know. I don't even think. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't I see you then right now? You can see me on my stream. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. Well, damn, I'm, well, I'm flabbergasted because you named a lot of stuff that, like, 
I feel like most face shape like, same. Even yeah, but that's it. Tried yet, but I can't even tell if you're being serious or not. Like, well, I'm quite in shock. I just offered you my entire heart and whole. I feel like you're not really giving me anything. Oh yeah, she said something crazy here. I think. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Bro, my dad was just walking in and just see a pair of tits, bro. Oh my god, bro. I'm watching Edward, okay? Not Caitlyn. This guy, he, he laughed at me, bro. He he probably was thinking, like, he was probably thinking, yeah, hey, 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 hey I see you, sir. No, he's not. Like, yes, I am aware of that stuff, but, but damn, girl, you are like on a. This is the most like, bro. If it was like a horny boss, like you, the final boss, like you're about <laughs> like, I ever met somebody this horny. True. And like, you'll meet more, Edward. When you get older, you'll meet more. I promise you. This is kind of look alike. People say that you're attracted to yourself, right? So because you kind of look alike, that's what I'm into. You. You're like me and boy form, I think. Do they look alike? They do not. They do not look alike. Uh, yeah, they do. I see you there right now. You can see me on my stream. Yeah, but that's it. Tried yet, but I can't even tell if you're being serious or not. Like, I'm well, quite in shock. I just offered you my entire heart and whole. I feel like you're not really giving me anything, to be honest. Like, I like gave you everything, and you're just saying words. Every time she says something goofy like that, I notice how she plays with her hair. <laughs> She's uncomfortable that saying nothing. that clownish stuff. Heart and whole. Cause once again, Wait, like what? I, said, you know, I didn't really get that. Like, Hold on. Like, tell if you're being serious or not. Like, uh, I'm quite in Did I'm she mean soul? Cause once again, like I said, you know, I'm a gentleman. Like I like to take my time, get to know the Gentlemen person. Are boring. Yo. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'm a born human being, I guess. Oh. Um, also give you a chance. I guess. Oh, okay. Do you okay, want a okay, chance? Okay. Why? I know this is a joke once again. But men really do go for these kind of women. Just because she's like, well, I guess I'll give you a chance. You'd be like, mm, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I would obviously, any regular person. Now, these guys are all creators. They're going to use the cloud off each other. It's cool. Well, she doesn't know him, apparently. Maybe she doesn't, maybe she doesn't, but uh, they, they can use this. It's a business move. But at the end of the day, it's like you get real people out here. Like, these are people who have that clout already, but they're making this video for people like me, you, who are just average individuals. We don't, this is not our life. So a girl who talks like that to us, and you're going to get women who do this. There's going to be women who imitate this woman. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you'll give me a chance? Okay, I've met women like this. i met a super super sexual girl <laughs> right and once once i finally got her out on a date this is a mistake of mine but once i got her out on a date i was like oh, this is stupid like it was awful she was willing to sit i'm not even gonna go that far but she was willing to do anything dog and it was just kind of like disgusting at the end of the day disgusting you know when you get to a woman like that a woman who's willing that you gotta understand a woman who's doing that kind of stuff i'm being serious it's not just that they're freaks or they're disgusting or they're this stuff like that i find what she was saying were disgusting but her as an individual you got to think about what would make a woman be so open like that sexually a, a few things probably happened in their past not all the time but it's something to at least think about and if that's not the case why else would they be sexual like this like what would make a person be like oh, you know i'm just gonna give in to we talked yesterday yesterday about giving into despair it's the same thing. People who get sexually open like this, once they feel like they can't fight it or they feel like they, 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 they don't want to fight it no more, that's giving into despair. That's saying, I'm just going to be sexual. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to make me more free. Foolishly do they know, man, what it must really be to live a life as a slave and you don't even know you're in a cage. You think you're free and you're in shackles, playing around, dancing around in chains. I'm so sexually free. You can just hear the chains rattle, baby. You are a slave to your sexual. You are a slave to that sexual. What did what did Edward say earlier? She's on demon time. Think about it. I think you're too vanilla, though. Tell me something crazy you've done, all right? None of this gentleman stuff. Tell me something crazy. 
Oh my god. He's gonna make She's gonna make Edward break? Nah, not on Ramadan. Oh, uh, what did I tell y'all? What did I say earlier? Hey, DJ, roll the clip back. I'm just kidding. Earlier, I said that you see a lot of these hot tub streamers. Do you, How many of them do you see taking shots or getting high? In this case, I'm pretty sure that's a blinker. Now, that could just be regular nicotine or more than likely it could be weed. Okay? Regardless. This is what I'm talking about. You see how uncomfortable she got every time she says something sexually deviant? She's like, <laughs> it's uncomfortable. The people who laugh like that all the time and touching themselves, they're uncomfortable. And now you see her smoking. More than likely, it's probably weed. If it's not, nicotine, whatever. But that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. They do this kind of stuff to either keep clout or to make themselves feel okay about it. I remember when I used to get super high. And I used to, you know, you know, guys. Into the whole porn life, into the whole uh, women life. I remember one point I was getting high all the time, and at one point I decided to give in. I gave into despair. I started looking at more porn. I started just being very sexual. I remember at one point in my life, I, I remember I was talking to this girl who wasn't even my, like we weren't together. We would talk about sexual stuff all the time through text messages, all the time. And everything you could think about, because at that point, I was just like, yeah, let's just give into it. Let's just be free. Let's just be free. Yeah, I'll talk to this girl I don't know like that. We'll talk about sexual stuff and the sexual stuff we do to other people. We'll talk about it. It is cool. I, she's, man, it's just like, that's the kind of stuff that ends up happening. You start giving this, giving into this weed, you start giving into this alcohol, you start giving into a lot of this stuff to make you okay with this stuff. I'll give this to Andrew Tate. He did say something profound, and it's not really coming from him. This, I'm just giving y'all somebody y'all may know. We all know where it truly comes from, but um, we'll give it to him because y'all know him. Andrew Tate talked about the reason he doesn't like smoking weed is because it makes you okay with being undisciplined. Or it was something along those lines, either being undisciplined or being lazy. When you smoke weed, it makes you okay with being not okay. That's the problem. Weed will be like, I mean, I could start losing some weight, but who cares, man? I could, I mean, I could stop looking at porn, but who cares, man? I mean, I could try not, I could try to teach the people about real life and the stuff that makes me uncomfortable, the stuff I know I'm going to have to fight against, the stuff that I know I'm going to get backlash for, but yeah, I'd rather just get high, put my breast out there and talk about being horny with dildos. I mean, I, I could do that instead. So the weed just gets you into this place. Um, oh, I just, I, I see it all the time in stoner community too. Um, <laughs> I see women get on there and they smoke a little weed and then their clothes start coming off. You know, they start showing their breasts on stream. They start showing their panties. They start showing this. They start showing that. Oh, because they're high, bro. Men do the same thing. I've seen, dude, I've seen men get on stream. I mean, I've seen men, <laughs> men get butt naked smoking weed. And they think it's cool. It's just the same doofus stuff. But that's what they do that. If Fuck! From me. Give you a chance. I guess. Oh, okay. Do you okay, want a okay, chance? Okay. I think you're too vanilla, though. Tell me something crazy you've done, all right? The craziest thing I ever done is probably like, I don't know, respectfully she kiss a girl's hand. Respectfully. You never like done that's anal, probably... licked asshole or anything? No. Nah, 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 uh, nothing like that. Oh. I think she's, uh, I'm gonna say, I think she's smoking weed. The fact that she took a drink of water, y'all see me do that. I don't get high, guys, just to make sure. We we smoke over here, we smoke hemp, CBD, we are not getting fried over here. And as y'all can see, I haven't smoked. <laughs> go watch my YouTube videos. Y'all can go all the way back to before I ever even seen a joint. I have always talked like this. Weed doesn't make me any more of who I am, okay? I just like the fun of it. I like collecting glass. It's fun. But getting high, not fun. That will ruin your brain, guys. Don't let nobody get out here and fool you. These people, you know what? That's a discussion for another day. Hey, we're I mean, vanilla. Like... <clears throat> oh, vanilla. We'll talk about that. Nah, nah, nah. Nothing like that. Nah, I don't think that's my thing, really. So you wouldn't lick my asshole? If I was bent over right now, not even one lick? Disgusting freak. Not her. No, no. You know what? I'm saying not her, but we, we know what I'm talking about. It ain't her, but we know what it truly is. But nonetheless, that's what I'm talking about. 
And you notice she laughs every time she says that? Uncomfortable. Once again, she's probably high. If she's not high, she's probably on something. Okay? Where that nicotine's got her buzzed. One of, something's going on. Wait, she feels so comfortable to talk like that. And the fact that she had to hit that blinker to keep it going. Let's, let's take a step back. Nah, nah, nah. Nothing like that. Oh. Hey, we're I mean, vanilla. Like, <clears throat> nah, nah, nah. Nothing like that. Nah, I don't think that's my thing, really. So you wouldn't lick my asshole? If I was bent over right now, not even one lick? <laughs> nah, if anything, Yo, what? And wipe that up for you, but oh, like, that's, that's that's. Remember when I told you guys when I talked about pornography? Somebody um, said that porn does not make take away your masculinity. Does it not? First of all, the one the one thing I didn't talk about in that video when I talked about this porn take masculinity, I didn't talk about the statistics. We all know that the more porn you look at, the more your body starts to fill with different chemicals, even more estrogen. It makes you. It it really lowers your testosterone, man. Um. The more, the more people who look at porn, this is the kind of stuff I was talking about when I say it makes you less masculine. Licking a girl's, I'm going to be real with y'all. Let's just talk for real. Licking a girl's butthole and her bent over it. That pretty much what she said, you wouldn't get on your knees and do whatever I tell you to. Y'all don't want to see past that. Y'all just want to think sexually. Think past that. They want to humiliate y'all. These women who talk like this, they want to humiliate y'all. They want y'all to fall. We see it in society now. Don't tell me that men aren't getting more and more submissive because they want to humiliate us. That's the point. And how do they do it now? With sex, because women are the gatekeepers to sex. This is why I say it's so important to wait till marriage, because when you're always pursuing sex and not marrying that partner, you're going to always pursue it more and more and more, especially if you're looking at porn. But if you're even just out there in the world, women are going to make humiliate you for you to get vagina. They're going to humiliate you to do this kind of stuff. You hear it in the music, and you will see it in real life. Women will go out of their way to make you fight to have sex with them to where they'll even tell you it's a gift. And they'll be like, oh, you got to work for this, and blah, 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 blah. And they'll do anything to humiliate you. They will make you fall to your knees just to get this thing that is really not that great. And this is why you guys need to talk to more married people. Okay, y'all call people married vanilla. But if you were to talk to a married person who's only with one person and only does intimate things with one person, talking about sex really is not that important. It's not like sex is the end all be all. It really isn't. OK, when you're in a relationship with somebody you're married to and sex is not just pleasure, it's more of an intimate thing. Talking about it in this goofy form of, oh, you wouldn't do it if I bent over right now. It's goofy. And it's, it's, it's I want to say a bunch of things, but I'm trying to keep it here. But it's, it's just a way to humiliate us men. It is. And I understand women get humiliated too, especially in pornography. They get humiliated terribly. And I think that's what we got going on here. Women out here who are not part of the porn industry or maybe just flirt around with sex, they humiliate men like this. And then you get men who become aggressive. And so when they get it, they look at enough porn, they want to be aggressive like the men they see in these videos. Oh, I'm going to make her do this. I'm going to make her do that. So men become more aggressive. That's, that's the only two sides you get. Men who look at a ton of porn can be very aggressive. Not all, but some can get super aggressive. But then you get men on the other side who look at stuff like OnlyFans. They look at webcam girls, and they tend to become more submissive. You know what I'm saying? First thing, I have a dirty asshole. That's as far as I would go. That's as far as wow. I get like a little, I'll get like the little pampers and shit, the wet tissue paper. I'll wipe it up and clean it. But that's as far as I'm going. Nothing else, nothing more. That's as far as I'm going. I'm sorry, respectfully. But what all oh. feet play? Like I'm going feet? crazy and Caitlyn not going to lie. Feet? Uh -huh. Yo, bro. Like, I lick her asshole shit, on God. Like, I can help you watch you it. See you what know? I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They humiliate these guys and they just fall for it because they think that makes them more manly. And it's so, it is so crazy that men think it makes them more manly to do whatever a woman tells them to do. You would lick her butthole, the most disgusting area you can get, be a part of. And they want to think, you know what? Oh, because I would lick that, that makes me more of a man because she's so hot. You're just more of a chump. I'm sorry. I'm washing your feet or something like that. But other than that, I don't really want to like kiss feet, suck on toes. And, it's like the baby toes are really small. It's like nothing's Kaylin, there. Kaylin, I don't think you're listening to me. I don't want to put those toes, like anything with toes, I wouldn't even put up my nose, like for real. Like that shit to me, just not it. Like, hey, 
I don't like the. Hey, me and him different, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so what do you like to get some all cold hands and kiss? Yeah, I like the simple shit. I'm a simple guy. I like the simple shit, you know, like the little hugs and shit. Like so boring. Who eating at? Who? Who is the ass eater in this chat? Clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like you haven't earned it. I feel like I'm letting you in because you have TikTok followers. Like, like, what's the dating show? Bark for me right now. Bark for me. Don't do it. That's what I'm talking about. Bark for me right Y'all see what I'm saying? Are y'all listening? They want... They want to humiliate you. I don't know if this man is going to bark. I don't care if he does this for the biggest clout of all time and be a goofball like I speed and do all this barking nonsense. But... <laughs> If this man has any pride or any care for his followers who are mainly kids, do not do this, Edward. Do not do this. Like, what's the premise of this dating show, though? Like, Clown. Basically, it'll be you against five other guys. You know, I had a girl one time. I admit there was this was the time in my life where I did simp. I gave it a shot. I literally, I put. I mean, I'm sorry, I sniffled right in y'all's face. But I remember one time I was, um, I put on Facebook. I said, "I'm a simp and I'm okay with it." Oh my gosh. And you know what? I was simping for this one girl. But I remember another woman. I always say girl, woman. I'm, I need to start saying woman. This other woman came up to me and she said, "Uh." She said, give me, I don't know, she said $5 or $10. I don't remember what amount of money, but I think, we're just going to say five. Five to $10 or somewhere in that range. But anyway, she, let's just say she said, give me some money. And I looked at her and I said, mm, give you some money? And she's like, yeah. And I, and I laughed. Because, <laughs> guys, y'all got to know one thing about me. If I think you're saying something goofy, like you're trying to, Get something out of me, I'm gonna laugh right in your face. The only person I won't do that to is my wife because she's my wife. Um, normally, I try to take what she says seriously, but if it's any other woman in the world and they say something like this to me, like give me some money, I would laugh in their face. And, like, and I did, I said, <laughs> you know, my regular laugh that y'all hear. And she was like, What? And I said, Why would I ever give you money? And you know what she said to me? Because I'm pretty. Listen, I'm fat, short, ugly. I get it. But are you crazy? You think I'm about to give you money for being pretty? You think I'm about to give you money for being pretty? You're wilding, bro. Absolutely not giving you money for being pretty. And that's the kind of stuff uh, that this girl is talking about. When she said bark for me right now. That's just what I thought about. Bark for me right now. First of all, I, I wouldn't have gotten into this thing. I don't do stuff for clout. I don't care about this kind of stuff. I don't I don't there's no way there's any friends I would ever have that would ever talk to me like this. I don't care if you're a big streamer. I don't care who you are. That's the one thing about being grown that I this is one thing. This is why I don't think men care about getting older. We do to a degree because we start seeing our own morality. And I think some of us men get scared of death. So that and that's probably that's number one reason that men go through midlife crisis is because we're scared to die. Death normally tells men. Uh, death normally, men normally think about death, and it normally leads to a midlife crisis. But anyway, I just find it wild that a woman would say that and bark, and a guy would just give in. But that's the young guys. The the young guys they give in to this nonsense. I want men do too. I don't meet too many. But I would never be friends with somebody like this. There would never be anybody in my crowd. I've never been friends with a woman like this. Ever. I've never been friends with guys like this. Ever. And I, listen, honestly, I grew up a square. You know, I'll be, I'll admit that. But somebody talking like, oh, man, I'm just going to do this for clout. I'm so glad I didn't even grow up in that era. I didn't grow up in an era of clout. I was I was the cool guy at school, but I was also the nerd. I was cool with some people, not to other people. When I got to college, I led. I was the president of my powerlifting team. I was the guy who led the whole crowd at basketball. I was the uh, what do you call it? The leader of the student uh, student fans. I can do all that stuff, but.
But at the same time, I never let that get to my head that I would get outside of myself and I would ever let somebody talk down on me like that. For clout, I can live with myself. Guys, series of questions. Whoever answers the questions the best can like stay on, you know? And the prize <laughs> is my virginity. Whoever wins gets it. You think Caitlyn is a virgin? Who cares? I'm at the, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You don't want to be on it? <laughs> That's fine. You don't have to. Huh? I think you're you have to pay $15 to... No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You are for sure scared of me. I'm not scared. That's it's like I've seen like... clips of you before, I'm not going to lie. And you're so talkative, so I'll go with me. You're like frozen. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, like, scared of like... best. No, dude. She's hot. Uh, Look at her eyes. Hell no. Nah, dog. I, guys, I've smoked enough weed in my lifetime, and I have seen enough people high. This girl is gone. Look at her eyes. <laughs> She's floating. Back to it. Uh, I'm just like. Edward, do say you know, some you know, crazy. Catching me off guard because like. Nah, Loki. Yeah, uh, Edward. Edward's just a gentleman, I like bro. The, I like you know what I like is like the the. The sweet type of like I'm she not got more sweet, bodies like, than like army like generals. Like you like controlling the conversation. I'm gonna yeah, be honest, chat. I think Caitlyn is the type of girl to have not a lot of bodies, bro. I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Because this is all extreme personality. I met her in real life. I met her in real life. <laughs> oh my God, it's Jason. Yo, Jason. Oh my, oh my God. Uh, uh. And then I asked her, so like. Like you a freak you talking or what? Stream, like you all talk on stream. Not worth my time shit. right now. Um, and then she was like, oh. <laughs> and then she started it's playing with her hair and shit. I was like, it's all stream. It's all stream. It's all okay, J. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. Yeah. Okay, she came into the stream, and that's the end of it. Whew. All right, YouTube. That's my thoughts on it. Y'all pretty much heard everything I had to say. I just I just find it wild that and this was a long video because obviously here's one thing y'all need to do if you're a YouTuber if you're gonna make content using somebody else's content make sure your video is three times longer than the video you're doing or at least two and a half times this video is 15 minutes so it'd be two times longer to have to make this a 30 minute video this is a 50 minute video so pretty far ahead my friend uh, three times 15 minutes, 75 minutes. I'm not quite there, but I'm at least two and a half. But I want to say this. This was a great example of what we see. Not everywhere in society, not everybody's attractive, not everybody has a million followers on TikTok. These are people who are very successful in their streams. But I want to say this. This is the kind of people, this is the kind of woman that men fall for. This is the kind of reason men are single now 18 to 29 from 18 years old to 29 years old you get men who are now single 63 percent of men are single from 18 to 29 and you know why because they fall into this kind of stuff they fall for these only fan girls the hot tub stream girls or they just fall into despair and they don't even try to go get a girlfriend they rather just have relationships with women online and not every guy is falling for chicks like this a lot of men are let's be honest a lot of men look at porn and we know what you know how the, the, the statistic is and i'm not blaming every man for looking at porn it is market it to us men to look at porn you get women like this and stuff like that even when you watch women who just chat who are the most successful women obviously the ones who are most attractive but you notice the most attractive anyway i'm just saying guys get out there and be careful women who are doing stuff like this they're giving into something okay this is not normal this is people who give into their sexual deviancy and they think it's funny like they're children and they don't understand that the only people who find this kind of stuff like either really sexy or they find this stuff kind of funny are young people. People are in their 20s. I don't know how old she is, but people are in their young 20s or teenagers. And I think it's kind of disgusting that you would make content that you know teenagers are going to be the ones who really fall into that. And, uh, you know, some of these people say, oh, I wouldn't do it if it was teenagers. Bull crap. I guarantee you, when, if you looked at your... If you looked at all your statistics, right, you looked at your analytics, and it literally told you that your audience was 13 to 17, would you stop making this kind of content? The F you wouldn't. Because as long as there's money involved, you will do what you need to do. Most people don't care about the distinction. 
As long as money's coming in, they don't care who's looking. They just ignore it. Blindfold. YouTube, peace.